Hello, thank you for joining and welcome to Globalscape's EFT server tutorial on how to create folder monitoring event rules for one-way file synchronization. Today, we're gonna to walk through the basic steps for creating a folder monitoring event rule and the proper process for defining your conditions and variables. So just some things to keep in mind before we start. The EFT event rules only support one-way file synchronization, that means the files can only be synchronized to a single destination. It cannot be pulled, but it can be pushed. And this includes to a remote or over a local area network. Also, if two-way bi-directional sync is needed, our advanced workflow module supports this feature, which is sold separately. Let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, I already have the event rule created for the one-way sync. Uh, just to give you a brief overview, we have a monitor folder on ctemp sync. That's gonna be our source path. And then we have the if condition for a file change does equal to added. And then our following action is a move from FS path, which is gonna be the originating path and file name to our destination path, which we are pointing to ctemp temp2 and then we will discuss these variables as we uh, create the event role here so we're going to go through a step-by-step -step process on creating this type of event so first thing we want to do here is right click anywhere in the site configuration and select new event role and then we're going to label our event role so we'll call this folder sync One way and then the description here uh, this is a really useful field if you have other administrators on the server and would like to explain what this process does all right so we're gonna go ahead and create the folder monitoring event all right and we're gonna set our monitored folder and we're gonna set this to C temp sync and we're gonna include subfolders. And we don't need help check, but we are gonna scan files. And we will come back to this after the event was created and I'll explain a little bit more on these two options, what we could do here. Now in normal circumstances, you could set the sync to like 30 minutes, um, but for this example, we're just gonna set it to one minute. All right, so the monitored folder is set for ctemp sync, and let's go take a look at that directory. All right, so as you can see here, I've got about five folders laid out, A through E, and each of these folders has a single test file inside of them. Now, you're not limited to the amount of files that you can sync. This is just purely an example, so I could have 100, 20, 10, you know, whichever. So there's no limit on the amount of files that you can sync to a destination. All right, so now that you've got an idea of how I have this laid out in the files that we're gonna be syncing, let's go back to the event rule. All right, so just to recap, we are monitoring ctemp sync, and we are gonna create a move action now. So in this move action, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna set this to local files or LAN. We're gonna leave this the same. This is the variable for the originating path and file name. And then we're gonna set our destination path. Our destination path is gonna be the temp2 directory. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste the temp2 directory here. Now, this is the essential part of this sync for this to work correctly. The FS virtual folder name fills in the intermediary directories and folders. So we need to specify that variable between the final path and the source file name. All right, and don't forget to put your trailing backslash between that. 
Okay. So right now, we've got our monitor folder that's looking at C temp sync, and then we've got a move step that's going to move FS path to C temp temp2 with the FS virtual folder name variable. And remember, this variable is going to contain all the intermediary directories and folders. And then we have the source file name, which will retain the originating file name of the event. All right. So before we apply this, I just want to go over a couple things. Let's go back to the monitor folder settings. So there are two ways that we can handle this synchronization. Right now, I have it set to scan. What this means is that it's going to scan all these subfolders underneath the sync directory, and it's going to look for any unprocessed data. If it finds unprocessed data, it's going to go ahead and process it. If I uncheck this and I only leave trigger based on folder change notifications, it's only going to sync the data that has been moved to the sync directory. So that means if the files have been previously added and already synced, it's not going to reprocess that data, but only new files that are added to the sync directory. So for this example, I'm going to enable the scan. All right, let's go look at our destination path. Temp2. So as, as you can see here, we have nothing in this destination path. So we're going to go ahead and activate this event rule. And then we're going to go back to Temp2. And as you can see, it has already synchronized the data. We've got folder A through E. File has been moved with originating file name and file path. So the directory structure and files have all been preserved. And we can go back here, see temp sync, which is our source path. And as you can see, everything has been preserved from the source. So that concludes the example for creating a folder monitoring event rule with one-way file synchronization. Thank you for watching.